hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here welcome back to another video i am here looking like an egg my face is so swollen but what's new around here it's always so swollen when i wake up it is currently 7 34 a.m and in a little bit i'm going to be heading out to go to dialysis training for my peds hema onc rn job so i haven't started on the floor yet and just to catch you guys up a little bit to speed i accepted a casual position as a registered nurse at the children's hospital on a heme onc floor and they also do nephrology as well and so part of our training that we need is we need to be dialysis trained and so that is what i'm going for today there was two options to pick today which is october 2nd or to pick october 23rd i believe but today is truth and reconciliation day so for my other job it's a stat holiday so it worked out perfectly for me to just go in today that said all the other girls that i'm starting with like my friends that i know from nursing school picked the other training date so it's just gonna be me today and one other girl that i briefly met in our other orientation and then just a couple of my other co-workers that i have not met yet but just recently started as well so i am looking forward to meeting everybody else and kind of getting to see their faces and kind of just meet and chat you know because that's kind of what it's all about having like relationships with your co-workers and knowing them and everything so meeting some of them is really nice especially when you're working as a casual you're not necessarily on the floor as much so you might not get to meet all the people that you could be working with so this is kind of nice so my dialysis training is from 9 a.m to 3 p.m and it's just a classroom day today so that's kind of nice i've got my ipad and my apple pencil and everything ready to go so that way i can take notes as needed because i feel like i probably will be taking some notes but other than that i just finished getting ready it's hair wash day so i put my hair in this ponytail a really loose low ponytail i try not to stress out my hair if i don't need to and like get headaches and stuff by doing slick back looks especially if it's just like a super chill classroom day i love this sweatshirt well it's actually a cardigan and it has a hood i really don't get much wear out of it because it's really like an awkward time of year where i live in ottawa where you can actually get away with wearing like a thick coat like this where you're not overheating in the afternoon but you're still warm enough in the morning and we're kind of in that awkward lull right now so that's why i'm wearing this i've worn it probably like this is my third or fourth time wearing it in like five years so i'm definitely trying to get more wear out of it because it is so comfortable and it's really good quality but yeah so i'm going to pack my bag have a small breakfast make coffee and then we'll head out um i know i'm heading out quite early but it's just like i don't really know where the room is that i'm going and i'm still trying to orient myself to this hospital like it's smaller than the adult hospitals that i've been at but for some reason i'm just having a harder time like figuring it out i feel like the hallways are more confusing i don't know but i've seen a map and i have a general idea of where it is so i'm hoping i can just figure that out and it won't be too bad party at our house yesterday and leftover donuts like foggy outside i don't understand this weather all right you guys um sorry the car is probably so loud you're like what's this girl saying i know i made myself coffee this is such a good coffee like i it just hit the spot i don't know something for a hot coffee it always hits the spot i feel like when i have cold coffees like iced coffees i just chug through them and like it's okay if they don't taste that good but hot coffees one thing about them they will always hit the spot anyway it is 7 55 and i'm gonna head out um my map tells me about 30 minutes to get there which is quite typical um but i was hearing about some like road closures on the highway and just given traffic like honestly i just want that all sorted i want to be entering the parking lot like no later than like 8 40 if i'm being honest because when i go in i'm gonna have to find the place and if there's one thing you guys need to know about me is it's that I'm really disoriented once it comes to like directions and stuff. I just have a hard time figuring everything out for no reason. I don't know why. I'm just like so directionally challenged and I don't understand how to read maps and anything like that. 
but that is life so i'm still gonna put my map on anyway all right let's have a day you guys let's go do some dialysis training let's go do all the things so i'll talk to you guys probably once i get into the parking lot Vlogging super down here because there's people everywhere. You think I'd have gotten over this by now, but will not get over it, especially when it's in my area of work. But it's 8:25 and I just got here. I had to take like the road. So I usually come here using the back roads, but I had to go like from the main roads and there's like two red light cameras, a speed camera, a school zone. Like there's just so much going on and I'm always so nervous driving through there. That's why I like try to avoid it. But what can you really do, right? I'm going to head in shortly. I'm actually going to just sip on my coffee and then I'm going to go in, in, go in in like 10 minutes. I'm going to have one more look at this map and figure that out. Um, and then, yeah, obviously I won't be vlogging inside the actual thing, but... and I just got out. I'm at a red light, so I'm vlogging. But it's green, so I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Hey, you guys. I feel like I always start off these videos looking like somewhat put together and then get to the night portion and I just look disheveled, but that's okay. You know, this morning I said we were going to have a hair wash day, but I lied because I did not wash my hair. Honestly, I work in office tomorrow, so we're going to have to do just a slick back hair moment because my hair is in need of a wash and tomorrow i'm gonna go on a long run so i'll just wash my hair after that instead of washing it tonight and then like having to wash it again tomorrow or deal with super dirty hair because of all my sweat ignore my chair with cushions and a blanket on it it's just it's the chair you know you just put things on it but it is 10 46 p.m and literally since i came home just ate hung out worked out showered and now i'm here i needed to film this part of the vlog so that i actually end off the vlog you guys i feel like i've been really good at like actually vlogging consistently getting videos up in real time and i feel like a big reason of that or like a big reason why that's happening is because i'm actually like starting vlogs and ending vlogs because i had a really bad habit of just vlogging things in between throughout the day and just like vlogging stuff but i wouldn't start the video or end the video so like the footage would go nowhere so i'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that but let me give you guys a quick recap of my training today. So it was for peritoneal dialysis. Now I have had uh, patients who were on dialysis previously, like hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Obviously they were adults, but the way that I had been exposed to it was there was always a dialysis nurse who would just come and hook the patient up and deal with it. Like I never had to deal with it myself, you know? So this was basically understanding and learning like what dialysis is peritoneal dialysis so we kind of started off with um like just like a little bit of a theory lecture for i think it was like an hour and 45 minutes and it was actually really really informative um some of the stuff was obviously a refresher but a lot of the stuff was new as well as learning about like the hospital's policies and kind of how they like to do things how they order you know their things for dialysis as well so it was really informative we got slides printed out and i actually took a couple of notes on there so that was nice and then after that, we came back and learned about like drains. So how would you drain the patient and fill them, of course, and just setting up the bags in and of themselves for dialysis, for manual dialysis, I should clarify. And also um, well, like what the sample bag that you would use for peritoneal dialysis. And the thing is like the sample bags are so hard to open up. So we we're like kind of struggling for that. But yeah, so we went over manual dialysis and then we also lastly went over like the cycler and the setup, how you set that up, um, how you kind of go over orders and just things like that. So it was actually really, really informative and it actually went by really, really quick. 
like quicker than I expected and I think it was just because it was so interesting and I knew that I would be applying this information I've said this before and I'll say it again like when you're in nursing school you know you're gonna use that information but you're so used to all this theory being thrown at you that like it's easy to get overwhelmed and just like not really care about what you're learning necessarily because you can't really always put that much effort into caring about it because you're like look I just need to pass I need to move on to the next semester right but when you're a nurse which still sounds really weird to say when you're a nurse and you're learning things for your actual role and you're doing these trainings like it's just so different because you know you're going to straight up apply this to your job and there's no pressure to retain like all the information and memorizing it and everything you know like today they obviously did the training but at the end of it they were like we don't expect you to be able to go and set up a cycler machine at the end of this training like trust me like if you did that we'd be really really surprised but it's just introducing you to what it is um and so that you can familiar familiarize your i can't talk familiarize yourself with it and so if you ever have to do it like you kind of know the steps and then of course there's resources on the unit there's also staff that you you know you can ask for like for help like another nurse might feel comfortable doing it or like your nurse educator or somebody like that so it was actually really interesting and because today was a stat holiday there was like no traffic so it was such a smooth drive home we love that but yeah i think it's definitely a little bit intimidating the educator did tell us that there's very few staff who do actually feel like super comfortable setting up the cycler and initiating dialysis and everything so it's okay to not feel super duper confident about it it's definitely something that i feel like i'm gonna be taking my time with doing and i know as a new grad like i'm gonna be taking my time to do things i'm gonna be slower so it's okay like that's just how it is i still haven't started on the floor obviously um i start like later this month but it's just nice to know that like i'm not expected to know everything just because i attend these trainings it kind of takes the pressure off but geez my hair is a mess and i look crazy but that's basically it for today's video i know all these orientation vlogs have just been me sitting and talking i did try to get a little bit more like b-roll clips you know walking into the hospital and things like that for you guys for this video but it's just like i obviously can't film during these trainings and everything because like i'm at work like i can't film at work and then any clips that i get before work after work or during breaks it's like not me actually doing like training right like it's not the content that i'm there for you if you know what i mean so it's definitely tricky to kind of like share these things but i hope that just like sitting and watching me talk about it maybe is entertaining maybe you've learned something about it maybe you're just kind of seeing some insight on like my journey as a new grad nurse and what that entails i know i did mention like i'm a heme onc nurse but this floor does get a lot of nephro patients as well and they've been seeing an increased use of these dialysis like the cyclers and manual dialysis and so that's why this training is just mandatory yeah there's that um i've got two more training days those will be for i believe chemotherapy so that will be fun i will vlog those for you guys as well don't you worry but i just wanted to update you guys on the day i also got to meet some of my other co-workers so that was nice as well they were there for the training too obviously so yeah overall i had a great day so i just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload that's all for me and i'll see you guys in the next one